Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we've got all of the indices trading to the upside. Uh, the Dow is up 251 points. That's about nine tenths of a percent. To the upside, the S&P is up 23 points, nearly seven tenths of a percent. NASDAQ 100 uh, lagging uh, back uh, about a half a percent to the upside, 52 points. She's trading at 11,607. So let's start off by taking a look at the health, uh, what's uh, going on inside the uh, markets from four different time frames. Take a look at market breadth. When we take a look at market breadth, we're focused on the upper right-hand corner. This is for the S&P 5 We've got our weekly, daily, 240-minute, 60-minute. You'll see that all of those speed dials are in the uh, green. That means they're all in bullish mode, meaning that there are more instruments for those specific time frames where they are trading above resistance versus below support. You and I, we can even go take a look at a short-term time frame. That would be the 30-minute time frame out here. And as we take a look at the 30-minute time frame, this, too, is set up with a, a bullish bias as we speak uh, right now for its 30 minute time frame as we go take a look at the s p 500 out here making a higher high trading out right now at 3420 it's pushing higher and doing so with less relative energy whenever that is present that's always a dangerous sign it's only dangerous when we begin to see price close below well first generate a bearish reversal candle we don't have that today's a bullish candle a rising window gap to the upside inside the s p cash today is also going to be the bar following bar number nine so this is a beautiful pattern out here because if there's going to be a td9 count top Whatever today's high is, you will not see a close above. So if tomorrow we see a close above today's high, we know that that pattern did not identify a top. By the way, support inside the S&P 500 right now in any kind of retracement is 33.2644. That is the cash indice that we're taking a look at. The Dow. The Dow here is uh, up at uh, not a new high, but... Uh, it uh, does look like uh, well, price here is moving higher, doing less relative energy. Uh, the only topping pattern that would be in play out here would be some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And then you'd want to see price close below Stevie's green line. That's 28.026, uh, give or take. And support now for the Dow on any kind of retracement is 26.534. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. We'll go take a look at some short-term time frame charts. Try to figure out if there's any short-term signals that you and I should be aware of. If you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you soon.